have thousands of eels in here, hundreds of thousands, maybe even in the millions. And for the past five to six years, all that's come over Lower Granite Dam is double digits. So we got a problem. They do counts just like they do with salmon and steelhead when they're coming over the, the dams and they get very few coming up the Snake River. We knew about that. So we started this program about four years ago, about four and a half years ago. We start putting things together. We took what science we knew and we run with it. And what we did at this point was we went into what we call translocation, which we're doing right now. We go to John Day Dam, pick up the animals, bring them back here, keep them in the tanks. And then we release them into the creeks. They're filter feeders, so they're cleaning the stream. They get so big, and the other fish gobble them up. They love them. It's a part of the food source and food chain that's missing. And that was one of the questions we always ask. Is this a piece of salmon recovery that's missing? You can still find juveniles in the yeah, sand, yeah, sandy beaches. Like during the summertime, you go build a sand castle, and if you're digging in the, in the sand and the water, sometimes you'll find the amacetes, you know, juvenile lamprey swimming around. Each one, each female has the potential of up to a quarter million eggs. And so each one is very important. Then the young, that are known as amacetes, and they burrow into the sediments and they're there for five to seven years. The key though is they're giving off, like Elmer said, this pheromone, and so they're homing in. And uh, if they're gone, then quite likely that link is broken, then the adults will no longer come up into this area to spawn. And so then this whole segment of a population will be wiped out. What we always feel good about is we've had 280 fish. We have only lost two. The biology and the restoration and the keeping these things alive is very important. But it's just as important or more important to me personally because of the cultural, spiritual values of the Nez Perce people. That's the whole thing in a nutshell, because we always felt as though they're a part of us. We are a part of that circle just like they are.